Now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Bob Pompiani along with Gene Collier here tonight at 412-575-2600. That is the number to call. If you'd like to tweet, it's at KD Pomp at Gene Collier, and we have a lot to get into. We're going to show you some highlights of the Penguins coming up in the next segment, but in the meantime, we'll talk about that game. The Penguins went into Boston tonight, a team which had won five in a row, clearly one of the elite teams in the Eastern Conference. They got a lot of weapons, including the best goal scorer on the league right now, and David Pasternak, who did score, and they built up a 3 0 lead on the Penguins to run Matt Murray out of the game. But the Penguins came back, took the lead, and got to the goaltender. You thought at the end of the second period when John Marino scored. But Gene Collier, Boston, showed a response to that as they got the last three goals of this game, including an empty netter, some great shots by Tory Krug, Brad Marchant got the eventual game winner. Uh, something about Boston and Boston. The yeah. Penguins have had problems with that team over the years, and they did again tonight. Yeah, and well, it looked like two good teams, though, Bob. The, the Penguins with an absolutely tremendous second period, 21 shots. Yeah, they were dominated. Um, that's really incredible. Too bad, you know, they kind of wasted it in the third period. And they had a more uh, drama with the goaltenders. And, um, you know, the Penguins have, uh, I think, played pretty well overall. Um, but uh, have, as we've mentioned on the show, it's a long season. It is a long season, and Boston's a team that's going to be there at the end, you would think, uh, because they have a lot of stuff. But I was encouraged, you know, John Marino has really played well. Mm -hmm. He's a guy they acquired by trade, and you didn't know much about him, but uh, he's gotten in there. He's made plays. He's been responsible defensively, and he got the goal that came out of the box. I didn't know if he was going to be able to beat the clock. Time was ticking away, but he had that and a goaltender to beat, and he did both. First initial goal? Yeah. yeah. From, you know, a play, that's, I think that's his hometown. Yeah, that's um, a, this is his hometown. So that's pretty remarkable that he did yeah. it there. That, that happens a lot in sports, and that's what makes it fun to see. Especially hockey. It's we'll show you those highlights coming up, but now let's talk about the Steelers real quick because, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how ugly the game is as long as you win it, and they've won three in a row. Has your stance changed on the Steelers at this point? Do you think they are a playoff contending team? Um, no, I don't, but uh, I think uh, they'd have had a much better chance had uh, New England played the way it played every other game going into Baltimore last night. It didn't play well at all. Uh, all cre credit to the Ravens. I mean, that was an incredible performance. Makes you think the Ravens are better than at least I thought they were. Um, so, um, you know, I, um, I thought the Colts were really, really bad, just awful. Um, so that could... Uh, pretend good things for the Steelers in the playoff race, but I don't. I still don't see them as a playoff team. But you know, there are a lot of teams in the same boat right now. Four yeah. and four, four and five, five and four. They're all jumbled together. Then the second half of the season normally reveals who is going to be in it. And so the Steelers, the next thing up is a home game against the Rams, followed by three straight division games. Mm -hmm. The Rams teams are hard to figure out. They got a lot of talent. I mean, they acquired Jalen yeah. Ramsey. Uh, they have studs on defense and offense. The Steelers right now are playing with a limited hand in many ways with all oh, these injuries really and everything else. I don't know what to make of their offense right now because they still can't generate enough in the run game. No, they don't. They're not committed to the run at all. They really have, uh, you know, they feign interest in the run, but I don't think they're really interested in that at all. Um, you know, they were outrushed and outpassed uh, by a Colts team with its, you know, third string quarterback and missing T.Y. Hilton. Uh, you know, these are kind of dark days for the Steelers offense. I mean, they get uh, just enough decent plays from their receivers to keep them in games, but that, that is not a good offense. No, and they need, uh, I will say that Mason Rudolph still to me is, you know, he's a rookie, even though he's still in the second year. Play. He's Yeah. yeah. Uh, all, all in all, I think he is, he's done enough to win those games without costing them games, although yesterday the one play that I think he has to improve upon is when you are in your own end zone looking to throw the ball out of it. You cannot wait forever. You have to get rid of it. You got to feel the pressure. He did not feel it. They're lucky they got away with a safety there. Oh, a touchdown absolutely. would have won the game for the Colts. Yeah, Villanueva uh, is probably responsible for the strip sack, but he's also responsible for covering the fumble. Yeah. Otherwise, they lose <laughs> that game. How about Adam Vinatieri? It's pretty amazing how the life of a kicker goes. Chris Boswell, everybody wondered what he was going to be like. He's back to his old form. And yep. Vinatieri's old, but he's made some big kicks, but he's also yeah. He, he missed some kicks. He made the kick uh, last week to beat Denver. Yeah, 51 but yards. He, but he has missed five field goals and now five extra points. So when you're 46 and you're missing like that, you know, people start to talk. Yeah, the laces also was a problem there. Yeah, the holder did not do out. what he was supposed to do. Out. And that does affect the, the flight of the ball, the flight of the ball. And sure. It, 
Uh, that was but not, dead, that, not that not bad. That, that was a dead yank, yeah. <laughs> as they say. <laughs> All right, we'll take your calls when we come back. We'll show you some Penguin highlights. It's 412-575-2600. Get on the phone. Let us know what you think or tweet us here tonight. It is the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call on the Bordas and Bordas Hotline. We're coming back right after this. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, celebrating 25 years as Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows, and gutters, where honesty and integrity still matter.